Good morning, welcome to our channel. I'm Rodney from Green Daisy. Uh, this is our first video um, on YouTube and I planned on making something a little more entertaining and educational, but uh, we got some developments going on here in the state of Tennessee that I think warrant some discussion um, and, and some guidance on, um, and that's regarding the legislation around um, Delta 8 uh, THC. Um, we've got a couple different roads being pathed here, uh, but the one that's concerning to me that I'm going to speak to you about today is House Bill 1927, uh, being introduced and sponsored by Representative William Lambert from uh, District 44 in Portland, Tennessee. Um, he is seeking with this bill to redefine hemp uh, as detailed in the 2018 Farm Bill and effectively would ban Delta 8 and Delta 10 and other related cannabinoids here in Tennessee. Uh, this would make it illegal to buy, sell, or possess any Delta 8 THC products eliminating access to the thousands of Tennesseans that are currently leveraging these products for any number of health needs and shutting down many small businesses like ours and farming operations across the state of Tennessee. Um, they're in the process right now going through the financial impact of that. Many of us in the industry are providing that data um, to Mr. Lamberth and the rest of the committees to assess uh, the financial impact of shutting down, in essence, all of those businesses across the state of Tennessee through this legislation. Um, this legislation is being introduced out of safety concerns uh, for both adults and children with the lack of regulation and packaging requirements that are currently in place in this industry. Couldn't agree more. Um, the statistics, however, that were cited, um, citing numbers of cannabis overdose reports here um, in Tennessee were to justify this bill, and unfortunately those are being exaggerated to create fear as a justification for such actions, and I'll explain a little bit about that, what I mean by that. Uh, in reality, those statistics that are being stated from the Poison Control Center are just people who have called in um, to um, report a possible overdose or an issue uh, because they've overindulged uh, in the THC edibles and are extremely experiencing what I would call an extreme case of anxiety or a panic attack. We've all heard those stories on the news. Uh, it occurs and it's common when one ingests too much. And you know, that is all about education um, and informed and, and accountability. Uh, for using these products as they are intended to be. Um, there have never been any verified cases of a death due to cannabis intoxication. That's not how the plant functions. Cannabis does not affect uh, pulmonary, um, respiratory, cardiovascular systems, can't impact your breathing or your heart, um, and thus that's why there are no overdoses. When you want to compare um, overdoses, um, you talk about something about alcohol or opiates, uh, that's where you're talking about drugs that actually impact those systems and that's what ultimately causes overdose deaths. Um, my concerns around all of this are mainly, obviously this has a direct impact on, on my family and our business and, and all of those in this industry in the state, um, but I'm more concerned about the hundreds and thousands of customers across um, the state of Tennessee that we serve here in Franklin and across Middle Tennessee. And my concern over this legislation is the same of that as Mr. Lambert's, and that's public safety. However, where we differ on this is if the legislation does pass, the unintended consequences are going to raise very serious safety concerns. Um, the result of this is it's going to, it's going to resurge and cause a resurgence of the black market. Um, we've seen this in, in, in other states. Uh, California is a prime example. Um, when you ban things um, um, or make it illegal, um, people are still going to find ways to, uh, to get those products and get access to them, and, and, and that's through the black market primarily. Um, banning Delta 8 was going to force a surge in that black market, just like Prohibition did back in the 30s uh, for bootleggers and moonshiners when alcohol was, pro was under Prohibition. Um, there are upstanding citizens in the state of Tennessee that rely on these products for their health needs, and now they're going to have three options if this bill or this legislation passes. Um, to continue to have access um, to that medication, the, the cannabis medication. Um, they're either going to revert back to pharmaceuticals and over-the-counter medications that they were able to wean themselves off of through use of these products. Um, they're going to travel to neighboring states that haven't banned Delta 8 products, uh, which at this time currently is all of them. None of the states surrounding Tennessee have banned Delta 8. Uh, in fact, the majority of the states around Tennessee have actually passed some form of legalization of cannabis, medical cannabis, in some form or fashion. Um, and then the third option, which again is my main concern, is seeking out black market sources for these type of products. That's that last option that really scares me the most in this. Um, opening up and encouraging black market uh, for marijuana Delta 8 products is certainly going to cause uh, an increase in, in, in actual true overdose and potential deaths 
due to the nature of the black market. They don't follow rules. They don't follow regulations. There's no regard for safety packaging or proper labeling or informing the customer on what they're getting. Certainly have no regard for quality um, um, or safety. Um, just look at the instances of fentanyl deaths due to being laced in marijuana. You see those stories on the news all the time. And, and unfortunately, when you ban something like that, those type of instances are going to occur. Um, so there are reasonable and sound legislation uh, bills being introduced at this same time in the state of Tennessee that will actually protect and regulate Delta 8. Um, and that's really where we need to go. Um, um, House Bill 1690, House Bill 1767, that's the Hemp and Delta 8 product safety bill. That looks at aims at providing appropriate regulations and oversight of Delta 8 products by the Tennessee Department of Agriculture. And in short, I'll just cover, you know, kind of the basics of it. What it's going to do is, is uh, uh, require licensing for retailers like myself. Um, it's going to um, uh, provide some revenue for the state through taxes, uh, similar to how they tax cigarettes at 6.6% at the wholesale level. Um, it's going to require that these products only be available to those 21 and up, which a lot of us already do anyhow now through just self-regulation. And all that revenue from the licensing and the taxes is going to go to the Tennessee Department of Agriculture um, to, to allow them to, to provide resources to actually manage and oversee and regulate um, this industry. Um, so I'm asking you, please help us to keep the fight up against um, these banning um, bills of, of Delta 8 legal and accessible in Tennessee. You've got to contact your local representatives, contact Mr. William Lambert, the members of that committee, and voice your opposition to House Bill 1927, the bill that looks to ban Delta 8, and let them know you support House Bill 1690, which aims at regulating Delta 8, and it keeps safe and legal access to these products for all Tennessee residents. We're going to have links and contacts information for these representatives down in the description below. Um, I hope you enjoyed this. Again, I was intending on having something a little more informative, educational, and fun for our initial uh, channel kickoff, but uh, this far uh, overrides that need at this point in time. So um, like and subscribe to this channel, please, to stay up on the latest developments, uh, hopefully for some informative and educational videos coming down soon as well. Um, we're going to look to do that soon, but for right now the fight is on for protecting Delta 8 in the state of Tennessee. And that's where our focus is going to be for the near future. So thank you for your time. Enjoy it. Have a great day.